Hmm. Well, howdy, 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 y'all. It said it didn't say it was recording. Teresa here. And first and foremost, Miss Leanne. See, my doohickeys did it again where they curled. I did not use a curling iron. I don't even know where my dang curling iron is, girlfriend. Like I told you on the phone, I live in Florida. If I wet my, my doohickeys on the side, we call them sex curls. <laughs> when we were in a beauty shop, we call them sex curls. Anyway, if I wet these with water and then just leave them, they just go. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what they have here. It's just like I didn't curl this or anything. It just, I wet it and I threw it up and it just did this. I went, Bleh. I had so much fun talking to her last night on the phone. Oh, Lordy. That girlfriend is crazy. She just stays in her driveway and yak, yak, yaks. But she's so much fun. Really made my night. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Got to talk to her yesterday. Got to talk to uh, uh, my niece, Emily. Always enjoy talking with her. The terrific young lady. Ah, uh, let's see. What am I doing? Um, I don't know. I got in my vape battery. So, anyway. Um, yesterday. Oh, let me do this. It's February 4th, 2017. It is Saturday afternoon. It's 1.26 p.m. And I'm watching Charlie. Leave it be. Leave it. Charlie, No. You watch it, the cat was given some canned cat food. Well, they were given some canned cat food, too. And I know that's not the healthiest option for them, but if you're treating your animals for giving them uh, the flea pills, um, the cat, once a can of cat food is open, she's not going to eat the rest of the can. She just doesn't like it once it gets cold. So it's just a really big treat. For the dogs, I mean, they might get each maybe a tablespoon, and I put their flea pill in there, and they're all happy and stuff. So that's what we're doing here right now. Um, let me do the weather. So, but anyway, Charlie's was Charlie was watching in hopes that maybe um, uh, the cat didn't eat her food, but she did. Excuse me, what are you doing, young lady? Okay, come on up here. Come on, the noodle. Oh, my goodness. Such a baby. You're going to say hi to everybody? You're going to say hi to everybody? Say, I'm such a good girl. Say, I, Charlie and Heidi, I see you, and the cat ate it all anyway. He's like, I wasn't doing anything. She's such a good girl. She used to bark like crazy at any movement. And now she knows and she gets a treat if she if she doesn't bark and she just she'll she'll see something and she'll look at the treat and me and she knows, right? I just went outside for a little bit and um we've been working hard on training Charlie and to not bark and working on the separation anxiety and he did not bark once. He whined and that's fine, but he did not bark, so he was a good boy who so got treats too. And Mama got treat just because she was Mama. Okay, it is 57 degrees right now. A real fill is 60. The high will be 60 and low will be 42. It's a cooler day out, which is fine. Kind of nice. Kind of nice not to have to run a ton of fans and um, a ton of air conditioners and stuff. That's always kind of a big treat. Um, so that's the weather. Let's do the cheat notebook. Um, I cleaned house yesterday. Oh, first, let me back up. I made the bowl of coffee this morning. It's okay. Um, you know, I do see where I don't feel hungry. And it's, you know, 1.30 and, and stuff. So, and I'm still working on it. Um, but yeah, I, I can do that. Um, it just seemed, it sounded really weird to me. You Once you hear somebody put butter in their coffee, you're like, and then coconut oil, you're like, but it's good. Um, so, yes, I cleaned house yesterday, I dusted vacuum, did the bathroom area, did the dishes, you know, 
did all the dusting and that kind of stuff. Um, and I made those stuffed peppers, and they turned out really good with the zucchini in place of the rice. That was very flavorful. I will definitely do that again. And, you know, I had Brad's in there with the rice and mine in there with the zucchini. I threw them in the crock pot, let them cook all day. They were great. They were just, you know. So, I'm very happy about that. Um, I did really well yesterday as far as eating. Um, I did have one banana. And then um, I have a lot of trouble really late at night. If I'm super hungry when I go to bed, it will keep me up literally for hours and you know i mean it's not like an emotional hunger it or head hunger it's like hungry so and it's my body still adjusting so i did some research and i had an apple instead of um with a little bit of sugar-free caramel um you know on you know to, to dip it in just a little bit that was a really nice sweet treat um you know the fiber in the apple and that's a lot lower carbs. So, you know, I think I'm doing really well. I know I feel better. And I know, like I said yesterday, the neuropathy in my feet at night is not near as bad as it was. So, you know, uh, and that's the main thing for me. Um, I did some looming while Brad was at work. Well, actually, he was home. Or no, he was at work. And then he had to go to bed early because he's working today in the day shift. Well, let me show you what I loomed. Did a few different things. <sighs> Darn it. I forgot to pull my yarn I wanted. I'm going to start a new project. I think I'll start that new project tomorrow. You know. Um, so. Um, this is the second panel on that shawl I'm making. So. <clears throat> You look you can see the pattern now you can see the wave pattern so yeah as so you just pull it to have those kind of cinch up but yep that's that wave pattern that's that seafoam stitch on and just type that in your search here on youtube and you can find the same pattern i'm using um and then uh i was working on some donation hats because i it was a scrap yarn so i made this little one i think it's so cute my husband says it's like a peppermint patty. I'm going to type that in then. So, but yeah, I think it's cute. That's a newborn hat. Very, very soft. Um, and then, where's the other one I'm working on? I have one, but it was already 4 o'clock in the morning, so I thought, you know, uh, I better quit um, for now. But um, this one is super, super, super fuzzy around the brim and then um i don't know if you can see the can't quite really see yet but it's um a two-tone blue if you look there yeah so working on that that'll be another donation hat um so um like i said i already talked to you guys about getting to talk to leanne and emily and then linda k i will message you my cell phone number and stuff that I definitely would enjoy uh, texting and, and yakking at you. Um, Brad's at work. I do need to exercise here in a little bit. I probably will exercise maybe... Hmm. Thinking. You know, I probably should go ahead and exercise before I start uploading this because... Um, or I could use my phone. I could use my phone. That would work. Um, I wanted to exercise before I ate lunch. Because typically I get very, very sleepy after I eat lunch. And then I won't want to. So what I'm trying to do is do a schedule where it is. Um, one day I clean house. The next day I exercise. And, and keep going like that. Um, you know. And if my husband's home when I need to exercise. Because like I said, we are in very limited space and stuff. What I'm going to do is just, you know, ask him to go sit outside, which he won't mind at all, <coughs> for a half hour while I do this. That way I still have a little bit of privacy and, and can still get my motion in. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the seated exercise. Type in seated exercise or wheelchair exercises. There's a million different 
um, uh, videos. Not a million, but there's a lot of different videos. So you just pick the kind you like. I usually go with the one through Livestrong. Um, but there's many different other ones. Um, and um, uh, then I have that peddler, which is, is just the pedals like off a bike. You, you can buy it like that. And um, so I can sit and do that, um, you know, with my legs. And then I can also do it with my arms. Um, I usually grab the folding chair, set it on there, and, and do it with my arms because... Um, you know, I'm trying to, uh, that's more of my aerobic and cardio part. So, you know, I'm going to be doing that. And, you know, any kind of range of motion is good. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't exercising today. I'm sorry. My bad. I was starting that whole exercise thing Monday. Okay. That works. That works. That works. I couldn't remember. I remember there was something, and it was like I'm, sore and I'm having a fibro flare I've been having it since yesterday I'm still up doing a lot of stuff but I was giving myself um, a little bit more time to adjust and I was starting the whole exercise phase Monday so because um, I'm a person that has a hard time with a ton of change at, uh, at once so I knew there was something um Let's see, we just have any leftovers. We had leftover stuffed peppers. I cooked four stuffed peppers and instead of just taking the top off and stuffing, I cut them I cut them down the middle so they you have two halves. Um, you know. And so I used the four big bell peppers and uh so we both have uh enough left for meals today. And we also had cooked extra chicken yesterday, which is lovely because we're going to have that, so I don't have to do any cooking today, which is nice. Um, and I'm going to try to set it up that way. Um, and then Monday, I'll try to cook some extra stuff, because Brad also works a day shift on Tuesday. And for us, if he's working a day shift, it's better for us to already have stuff cooked ahead of time. It just happened to work out better. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Um, uh, I find the biggest thing is, uh, let me get out my little, my little planner. Now, my planner is not pretty or anything like so many people, um, which I look at your planners and I just like, you know, they're so well, they're beautiful. Um, I'm not talented in that thing. It's just like I think making cards is really cool, but I don't, it's not my, it's not, it's not my thing. It's like somebody may see the paintings they do and go, that's really cool, but that's not their thing. Um, so my plan is very plain, <clears throat> but what I do is I write down the, um, I write down what I'm going to have each day the night before, because for me, and I've always been this way. If I'm really watching what I'm eating, I don't want to sit and have to think about food all day. Now, if I'm going to alter a recipe, I'll sit and think about that. Or I'll sit and think, look up stuff. But I don't want to have to sit and go. I don't. For me, the time to decide what to eat isn't when you're really hungry. Because then you're going to grab something easy. Now, I'm lucky we don't have, my husband has some different snack stuff but he puts it up high where i don't see it and that works out great um but um you know i don't have kids or anything i don't have cookies and all that kind of stuff um but you know you're gonna end up grabbing something something you know easy when you're really family so if i already have a plan of attack so to speak that's best for me and i've always been that way because, like I said, I want to sit and think about food a ton. I just want to be able to look and go, oh, okay, well, I'm supposed to have, like, I'm supposed to have stuffed peppers here in a little bit. Okay, and I try, if I'm going to eat any any piece of fruit beside that emergency piece of, like, emergency apple late at night, I will do it in my, I call it my mid-meal. Because, you know, like I said, I haven't had anything to eat It's 1.30, but... We don't get up till later. And so then, you know, what would be everybody's lunch would be 
where I would incorporate a piece of fruit, you know, because um, usually that's my lighter meal where I'll just have some cheese and vegetables. So uh, anyway, I'll just explain a little bit of that to you, to you guys. Um, what else? Uh, I only got in the title, so we're going to go next Wednesday and um, uh, get the plates with the Jeep, which would be great. Um, what else? Tonight is cuddling movie night. We will find some movies on Netflix or else one of our DVDs. And we'll just sit on the couch and cuddle. It's kind of like our in-home date night. And uh, so that'll be good. Just kind of when we kind of uh, shut off the world. And just just the two of us. So that's always good. My topic for today is variety is the spice of life. And I find that is so true. And you are so blessed and enriched. In your own personal life, if you have a, a wide variety of friends, and I literally do have friends from all different walks of life, you know, I've got friends that, that, that you know, are, um, uh, you know, much more income and live a much um, fancier life, I would say. I have people that are, are you know, uh, even more down home than I am, you know, people that, you know, um, I've got a few people that are really into partying and, you know, uh, some people that are, uh, you know, medical marijuana patients and stuff. Um, what else? I don't know. I have friends from all different kinds of, of, of walks of life, which just which really amazes me. And, you know, the best thing for me is when we're cutting up on the phone and we're just being silly. And that just is so much fun. Um, you know, and um, I don't think you should ever cut yourself off where you're like, oh, well, this person doesn't like me. I'm not going to get to know them. You know, some of my closest friends, are when I first met them, and yeah, it was through YouTube, are so vastly different, or I thought were so vastly different than myself. But then you continue to watch them because there's just something about them and then you end up being, you know, good friends and stuff. And I think that's just so wonderful. So don't cut yourself off and think. Don't look at something and think, I have nothing in common. Because even like that, if you're a mother that, that does work outside the home all the time, we still have something in common. You may say, what do I have in common with this this stay-at-home housewife who was a stay-at-home mother for, for, you know, most... I mean, I worked, but for the most part, I was a stay-at-home mom, you know. And, uh... It's like, you would be surprised. There's, there's more than you think, you know. Or that corporate exec executive that that's flying, um, who jet setting all over the world. Well, you know, maybe sometimes they just need somebody to talk to. Maybe they feel like they have, you know, thousands of people coming at them, wanting, you know, information and stuff. And maybe they just need somebody to just stop and go, "Hey, how are you really?" You know, putting aside all the business stuff, how are you really? You know, so. Charlie's looking out the window. <laughs> you know. The cat is taken to. She kind of got her little thrown up here now. You know. All the animals are just snoozing now. So anyway. I don't have really anything else planned. I'm going to. Um, I finished my series. I, I watched both seasons of the Super Guys. <laughs> I tell you what. If I find something I really like. I kind of binge watch on. I'm like. I think that's why I was up till 4 a.m., you know, yesterday, because I was like, you know, <laughs> watching the, yeah, oh, well, there's worse things, right? Um, you know, 
And what else? What else? What else? Oh, somebody asked me what that orange and black thing is plugged behind me, and I don't know what orange thing you're talking about. If you're thinking about this cord here, just cord. This is a lamp right here. Um, this is a hand paint. I used to make all these hand painted, you know. I sell those a long time ago. I don't know what else. I don't know. Need to do the dishes here in a little bit. Because the dogs aren't going to do the dishes. Well, they think they did the dishes. But not to my, you know. And then I think tomorrow, I think I may give Missy a bath. I thought about giving her a bath outside today. But usually I like to use the water that lays in the garden hose because it heats itself up, you know. Um, but... It's kind of overcast today, and I think it would be too cold for her. And, you know, especially the little dogs, you know, then she'll just shake and shake and, sh you know, she'll just shiver and shiver. I don't want to make her cold, get her that cold, so I could very fast tomorrow. Um, yeah, because otherwise I have to heat up the water and stuff. I mean, I have, we have hot water that we have a Hot water feeder, I just, I hate to use the propane a whole bunch, so. Anyway, uh, well, don't know what else to say. Oh, my spiralizer came in, too. My zucchini spiralizer, well, it's a vegetable spiralizer. Brad's going to get that tonight. I'm excited to play with that. That means tomorrow I'm going to be probably making spaghetti, um, yeah, before he goes to work, and, um, Anybody know how to cook this, this zucchini once it's spiral? Did anybody ever mess with that or anything? I'll have to look that up. You know, I'm sure there's videos and stuff. Because I've never, I don't really know. I mean, you wouldn't boil it like pasta, would you? I mean, you know. So, yeah, when we have spaghetti, I'll have the, the, the zucchini, um, uh, and spiral instead of the, uh, um, uh, pasta. I definitely also want to plant some zucchini, and I want to plant some uh, spinach. I'd like to grow my own spinach, because I really go through a lot of it. I probably have to plant like a million rows, though, huh? I just have to, you know, plant a million rows of zucchini. I don't know where. I know. I'm rambling. So, anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, and I love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.